house. Look who I found peeking out. It's Squirrel Man. But anyway, in this video, I find just tons of marbles in three hours. And if you watch my videos, you know I've been just on a tear. Um, I've been finding more marbles than anybody in the history of YouTube. It's just not even close. Um, in this video, if you pay attention, I give tips on where to look, what age of trash to look in, and... You know, I give lots of pointers if you want to find marbles like this. You have to be looking in the right place. So pay attention. And this is my pet squirrel, the Meister. Get out here. Let him see you. Tell him, you've been being real nice today. You're not all worked up. Did I wake you up? Did I wake you up, buddy? Tell him you're a good boy. This is my pet squirrel, Squirrel Man. He also gets by El Chapo. I found him outside when he was a baby, and he come home with me. And I bottle fed him. And he's doing great. You gonna do Squirrel Maniac? You gonna do it? You gonna do it? There it is. You're whipped. I can tell. You want back in your box? You want back in there? I think I woke him up from his afternoon nap, didn't I? Woke me up this morning though, didn't you? Scratching on the door, wanting to play. It's 7 a.m., look here. Somebody likes the, the cheek and chin rubs. Tell them, squirrel man, you love it. It's what you like right there. You're just like a little dog. Tell them, you're like a little dog. You're a good boy. Well, I hope you enjoy the video. I found lots of beautiful marbles today in like under three hours. Like, I'd say two hours and 45 minutes. I didn't really take any breaks. I dug hard. But we're going to go back. So if you like this kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe. Um, thanks for watching, folks. Alright, I'm heading through this mass. This is a different area here than I've been walking into before the last couple weeks stick in here I'll have to get a path more but I'm heading down here to this honey hole of marbles there sure was a heck of a lot of them down in here so I should be coming out about right on it here yeah it looks like right over here maybe Here we go. Looks like it right here. That was pretty right on there. It's walking through all this stuff. But I'm gonna get busy in here, get my gloves on, and see, I got all over in here to do. There's gotta be marbles everywhere. I don't even think all these are the same throwaway. There's just, every kid had marbles. You know, they were the most popular toy during this age of trash. And the kid just didn't have one. They came in bags for five and ten cents. So, um, there's just millions of them in the ground. Here's some I didn't show a lot of this stuff. There's that's like a 1930s whiskey. I was getting down into some older stuff. There's an old fashioned, frosty old fashioned root beer, Dr. Pepper, one of them Cameron beverages. That's a Coca Cola bottle bottle I have a real nice one I found a perfect one but there's ACL sodas but they're all messed up but I'll get back on my first find and I got a full GoPro today on charge so I ought to be able to do some live raking if I really get into them like I did yesterday later all right I'm gonna have to get my saw but just raking up this stuff that I left off on yesterday I got a pretty nice looking marble look at this oh man it's an acro Oh, it's a clear base one. Hold on, it's an acro agate corkscrew. I knew when I found that alley agate yesterday and them different ones. Oh, man. It's like a milky, clear base acro agate corkscrew. It's like an egg yolk one. All right. Look at that. That's a beauty. And it's called a corkscrew because see how... The swirl corkscrews around the marble. 
That's why it's called uh, testing computers. Hopefully there's about a hundred of these in here. Wait. All right, folks, I'm into the good marbles now. The ones, the marbles that I want to be finding. You know, them Marble King marbles I've been finding the last few days are okay. But I'm in a good pocket of marbles. This kid had nice ones. Right here's an Ali Agate. I saw it roll. <laughs> These are the good ones. Ali Agate Company was founded by Lawrence Alley in 1929 in Payton City, West Virginia. And they made marbles till 1949, and this is one of them. See, this is pre-1949, machine-made glass marble made in West Virginia. And Marble King bought the Alley Agate in 1949, and the operation was in St. Mary's, West Virginia. That two-color cat eye I found in my last video, that big blue and yellow one's definitely a St. Mary's factory, and that factory no longer exists. It sat where the McDonald's sets in St. Mary's, West Virginia, the only McDonald's in the town. It's a small town, and it burnt down, and they moved to Payton City, West Virginia. But that's a beautiful West Virginia alley swirl in wet mint condition. It's beautiful. And acro now this, we're gonna be on them. I'll do some live raking here too. Ladies, marbles popping out of here like mad. It's some kind of little medicine bottle where a needle went in the top. But here's another vitro agate now. There's so many different ones in here. Another one of them vitro patriots. Red, white, and blue. And it's a beaut and this one has another color of blue. Look at that. Most of these are, that I've found up to this point have been solid colors. Like three different solid colors. See that one has navy blue and that blue. That's awesome. Look at the condition. It'll clean up the look. Let me wipe it off in my shirt here real quick. It's gonna be like 90 today. It's earlier in the morning than I usually get here. The sun ain't straight up in the sky, so at least it's tolerable. I'm not sweating yet. That's nice. I'll get back. All right, I see another one of them vitro agates back in there. It's like right there. Um, if you wanna find these marbles, you wanna have a good chance at finding a bunch of them. The golden age of marble, you have to look in the, the era of trash that the marbles were made and thrown away. Um, you're really looking at like the late 20s, 1929 to like 1969 is the trash you want. The, that era of trash is loaded with marbles. Most bottle diggers go for 1890s layers or before. They want to find like pawned bottles and stuff. And you find a few marbles every now and then, like handmaids, but you mostly find clay marbles and Benningtons. And clay marbles and Benningtons are worthless. They're just, they are. A, a real nice Bennington's worth three or four bucks. The best case scenario. Some of these glass marbles can be worth a thousand dollars. This one's not, but it's still collectible and it's worth a little bit. It's a Vitro Agate Patriot. You can see why it's called a Patriot, red, white, and blue. It's wet mint and they look great framed. But these acro marbles, you know, that's probably a $10 marble, that one I found, that corkscrew. It's like an egg, they're called like egg yolks or I don't know, an egg, cause it, it's got that yellow on it, like an egg yolk with the white, like white on an egg around it. And that's the kind of stuff you want. But you want to get this ramp going, you want to rake it up the ramp and if you start seeing like these baby bottles and Mark's army man and other little toys you're gonna find marbles because in a five and dime store marbles were five and a nickel and ten cents a bag and even my dad my mom and dad are in their 70s and they they had marbles tons of them when they were little and played marbles um, lots of kids did talk to any older people and most of them got thrown away and what if there was a household here with three or four kids right in this area and their parents came here after they grew up and threw all their toys over the hill? That happened a lot. So all their marbles are here and there could be 10,000 of them from one household. And all you need is five or six households to throw away marbles from multiple kids and they're all over the place. So I hope that helps later. All right, I'll turn this on a few here. I got it on my head. I have to find a marble here. 
I'll see one. I found so many back in here yesterday, just real quick. I think there's just piles of them back in here. I gotta get some rocks out back in there. There's another one. Told you. It's like a, a solid blue marble. Um, I'll keep going here. There's another one of them little baby bottles. This one's slick. But it's got the measurement lines right on the back. I'll take that. Um, that's good. There's little toys in here. That's a glass baby bottle for a, a vintage baby doll that probably wet itself. I've, there's lots of different ones from different manufacturers. You could even buy refills for them. I think in little packs, it's like a dime store. I'm gonna have to cut these roots out. I can't see, I'll get back. All right, I cut them roots out there. Did a few more rakes and there's a yellow cat eye. It's a nice condition, but it's just an average marble. I'll get back, I'll do some more live raking too when I really get into them. All right, here's another Marble King marble. You can see they're nicer. And I'd say they're all St. Mary's West Virginia factory. This one has blended black lines in there. It's nice, it's a red and orange. Nice condition. Lay that in here and the layer goes deep. I'm gonna have to take my time. This is a solid color one, but look how blue that is. That's nice. The condition's nice. Um, you can see it. That's beautiful color. I'll get back at you. Turning this on. I've been finding other marbles that I have not been filming because they're just like average marble things. And well, I think I see one right here. Where'd it go? Oh, it's a vitro. It's another vitro with the turquoise on one patch. I'll keep this on for a few. I've found, I don't know, a dozen marbles that I haven't filmed too. And I've been here no more than a half hour. That's nice. Um, I'm gonna have to shovel out this ramp I'm setting on so I can get down in here. I'd say I'm about three feet deep under the surface of the ground. I try to keep this ramp, so I'm pulling that dirt up that ramp and the marbles just roll, but you usually see them immediately. There's a mug. It's a root beer mug. Oh, it's even embossed. It says something root beer on it stink that would have been a heck of a find but break there's a major wheel can it looks like there's rocks in there i'm trying to get out see that rock right there i can't look well, there's a marble right there it's another vitro agate I love these. Red, white, and orange, and it's got a real nice blend of that orange. I mean, they're just coming out consistently. If I stay here four or five hours, I'll have a frame filled easily and be able to just only put perfect ones in it. I'd like to find a, another big two color cat eye. I'll keep this on a little bit. I got a full battery today. I wanted to do this yesterday, but my battery was almost dead when I got here. See, there's a bird. I rake back through this stuff when I'm finding a bunch of them up at the top too. 
see there's rocks all up in there. I need to get that big rock out of there. Whoa, look at that. Oh, it's a light bulb. I thought that was a big frosted marble, man. Iron City beer. I'm raking with my hands like this because I got on cut proof gloves. You don't have to worry about me getting cut. The mason and the marble seem to be in that back wall going up the hill. Well, I see a bumblebee right here. Nice marble. Hold on. This is a good one. You know, these are worth several dollars a piece. And they look great in frames. I found one of these. I've been finding a bunch of them. I found a shooter like two or three weeks ago. Oh, look at the purple one, this one. These are pretty marbles. It's a classic Marble King, made by Marble King manufacturer, um, called a Bumblebee. It's a classic. It's a Marble King classic. Nice. I'll turn this off now. You can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna follow that. Well, I see another marble. I think, right? It is. There's another marble right there. It's another. Marble King blue and white one real nice condition and the bumblebee right there together and there's other you saw all the other manufacturers There's everything in here. I'll get back Yes, yeah, so I'll grab these two and I'll keep this on a minute I just did one rake and these two Marble Kings fell right out of that Wall There's another multicolored rainbow and another blue one um, Man you want this 1930s to 1960s trash for the marbles, and you'll have a collection of them. You're not going to find a lot of bottles. You're going to find some of them. You'll find late throwaways. Every once in a while, I'll find a bottle from the early 1900s. It was probably in a barn or something. And it got thrown away. Well, there's another one. There's two more. There's just marbles everywhere in here. Look at this. Another Christmas colors vetro. And another Marble King. It's got beautiful color to it. These are nice marbles. Hopefully I can find some more acro agates and alleys. And two color cat eyes. I like the two color cat eyes too. But I'll take these vetros and them nice Marble Kings. Big rocks up in there. I need to get them out and cave this down. there's a bunch of marbles back in here it's just real slow going and I'm laying in filth right now well didn't take long did it there's another beautiful warm marble here. I'm gonna turn this off and just film the good ones from now on that's nice I don't have many orange ones like that just film the nicer ones and skip over the average ones you get a good idea of what I'm doing you want this age of trash you see what kind of stuff I'm finding um, 30s to 60s the mid 60s and there's marbles all through it and I've this isn't the only place I found marbles on this dump the entire length of the dump if I if I dig around, I get in pockets of marbles. Later. Yeah, it's turning into a pretty good day. I got multiple ones in my coat pocket there. And I just dug all these. Of course, I didn't show them all. 
a lot of them are just green and white marble kings blue and white ones but there's some other nice ones in there a couple of nice cat eyes that are decent i didn't film but i'm gonna there's just marbles everywhere back in there fakes later these tips help you um if you can get on this edge of dump you're gonna find marbles you gotta move around and get in the best pockets of them but up here's a marble right there sticking out of the wall it's another vitre look at these layers of trash see if there's anything in this well there's another one right there look at that another vitro i just raked all this stuff down had a key then and they're going up the hill look at these two beauties two different colors of blue this one's navy and that one's turquoise and they're both vitro agates they're nice I'll get back. I'll do some more raking in here live, maybe. Um, I'll have to watch how much time I put on this video. I'll have to edit a bunch of clips, but I'll show you the nicest finds. I just found these last two right there together. I did a few more rakes with my rake, and there's another one with real beautiful orange on it. These are nice marbles. They're beauties. Later. It looks like another bumblebee marble right there. It is, man. These are nice marbles. And I think I see another one that fell down with it. What's that right there? It looks like a cat eye. It is. Nothing to brag about. Just a white cat eye. But just bumblebees. Oh, look, there's a... Yeah, I thought that was a figure, but it's... That bumblebee's nice. I'll show you these um at the end on clean up all of them i find in here because i wouldn't have filmed that white cat eye we just i just saw it um i've been finding marbles like that consistently but i'll get back just about 30 seconds after that bumblebee i'm gonna have to take my um glove off on this one man i got an electric blue alley swirl it's nice these are the kind of marbles i'm looking for right here look at this oh this is nice definitely an alley agate i've dug on the factory dump sites i know what they look like i've dug on marble king factory dump sites too the other stuff i don't know a lot about i just find it but that's clear electric blue base it's a beautiful pattern look at that right there wow i love these kind of marbles this is what i'm looking for later keep down a bunch of stuff and i saw multiple marbles fall right here's a vitro one of them nice blue ones. And I saw two up in here. Oh, it's another bumblebee. Look at all of these nice marbles in here. Here's another Patriot. That's all I saw, but it doesn't mean there's not more, right? I'll do some live raking in here. Help, there's another one. Ooh, that's a, that's a beauty. Four marbles right there. I'll do some live raking here in just a second. Make sure there's no more right there. I get the bottles out. But there's four more and they're all nice. Look at that Marble King. It's got cop copper on the blue. I'll wipe these off at the end and show them to you with real good video. All the ones I find. Later. Get up here and pull some of this back. I'm going to be filthy today. I'm just actually laying down. But another tip. See how dry the soil is? We haven't had a lot of rain this month. That's when you want to go. Because you really don't... When it's wet, the ground clumps up and marbles can be in the clumps. Don't matter. You'll miss them. See, most of these bottles are worthless. There's good marbles in here. There's still rocks up in here. Can't get them out, and I need to. Well, there's another one. Didn't take long. It's a vitro agate, I can tell. Oh, it's another one of them baby blue ones with the. Uh, they're pretty. I'll turn this off. I wanted to show you there's a pocket of marbles up in there. I'm following the base clay up the hill and there's marbles everywhere. See it back in there about right there and other bumblebee marbles. They're everywhere in here. 
another beauty look at that wow later i'm back down to my bag to empty my pocket look at this three more bumblebees a nice alley you know i just shoot another handful I, if I stayed here all day, I'd find the most marbles I've ever found in the past. Um, easily. Look at, I'll clean this one off real quick. This is a unique marble king. Look at that beautiful color in that. It's almost like a metallic. That's nice. But look at that, a whole pocket full of marbles. Right out of this one hole. I'm going to rake this stuff back. Um get this cleaned out and cave some down so I can see better there's big rocks back in there that are hindering me and I can't get around them and it's making it tough I'll get back on my next one I haven't even been filming these I can't get that thing out I'm gonna have to dig all the way around it I don't want to tear it up in case it says like Chev Chevrolet on it off an old car um, get that out tomorrow or something but there's marbles going that way and this is like the third one of these I've just raked out here in a minute. Patriot Vitro Haggots. I'll get back. There's just marbles everywhere in here, folks. Later. All right. I'm caving a bunch of this down. I'm going to have to rake through all this stuff. There's a bowl. Fire King wear. It's all there. I don't know if I really want that, though. See, I'm finding blue bottles and mason jars. But I'm looking for marbles. I can really care less about bottles. There's tons of bottles back in here, but um, I'll get back if I see anything. Now I can get back into this. I'm trying to get big rocks out of there. It stopped my progress, but I'm not gonna stay too much longer. We'll come back and I'll dig on this again this week. I'm just finding enough marbles that I think there's enough for 20, 30 videos here. Later. All right, that didn't take long. I just got back in here, took a few rakes, and there's a marble laying right below this stuff that fell out. Another orange and red marble king. Man, there's just marbles caked in these layers. They're everywhere. Later. Business for probably another handful here before I go. I got all these big pieces of concrete out, and I see a vitro agate just pulling that out right there there's a little flower pot look at that vitro another christmas colored one see there's all kinds of these little old clay flower flower pots that's a nice one but it's got a crack right there you probably can't see that but i can um but man um, let me keep this on for a minute put this in my pocket do some rakes because i've i found Three or four other marbles there. I didn't even film them. I put in my pocket. Let me get some of this stuff down and out. Yep, there's another one. Looks like a marble. No, it's a bit red. It's another one of these. These are pretty. Orange and red ones. Put it in the pocket. Throw this stuff up out of here. You can see how quick you see them. People are like, oh, you're missing them. You need to sift. Yeah, well, if you want to sift on a 1960s dump, you're you're an idiot. Um, you have to wait till the conditions are right and come when it's like this and you're not, and then I'm pulling this stuff back behind me and I, uh, I'm raking through it again and I, oh, I see a cat eye and it looks good. Look here. This looks decent. I see a cat eye right there. Oh, it's a two color one. The, I love these. These are about my favorite. I like these alley agates too and the acro like I found, but this is, it's one of those salmon colored ones. Salmon and white, look at that. I have other ones like this in another frame. That's a smoker live. Um, let me get situated here get this in my pocket you want to watch you don't want them rolling out of your pocket that's a nice marble there i found that other oh there's another marble another vitro see i mean now you can see 
I got this hole cleaned out. I'm not raking down inside a hole. Whoa, there's two more. I saw a marble there. That's not a marble, that's, but I saw one there. There it is. Oh, it's another two-color cat eye. It's orange and yellow. Hold on, I'll show you this one. We get it wiped off. It's nice. It's orangey, red, and yellow. Look at the tips on that. You can really see it in there. Man, folks. I told you there was marbles everywhere back in here. I got that concrete out. I'll be able to come here. And you know, this is just one section of a huge hill. If there's this many in this hole, they're just everywhere in here. And I really don't think these are all one throw away because there's years of trash here. I think it's multiple throwaways and just so many kids had marbles and so many of them got dumped. They're just all over these dumps in quantity. See if we can't get something else nice. Well, I saw another one. That rock fell right on it. It's right in here someplace. Right there. Another vitro. Man, I'm chalking them up. It's hard to leave when you're finding stuff like this. Um, let me go another minute here. There has to be more of them. I got a nice two color cat eye. I was hoping. I was hoping. I bet you if I knew how many marbles number numbers wise were here, I'd just never want to go any place else. Cause you know after I fill a frame of marbles with a whole different variety of them, these these frames are worth hundreds of dollars. They just are. Especially a big frame. It's it's a good bit of money. Well, I see another one. I'll turn this off till I find something nice now. See, this video ain't 85 minutes long. See, right there's a red, reddish orange marble king patch and ribbon. Um, I'll get back later. All right, here's something a little different. It looks like an earlier vitro. I think it's one of these clear base vitros. Hold on. With the color veneered over the outside. Um, hold on here. I'm wiping it off so you can see. That's what it is. See, it's a clear base marble. It's clear base. And that color's veneered over the outside. I haven't found one of these for a while. That's a nice one. A few minutes later, here's two more nice vitro agates, and that one's got the V on it. For vitro, the V patch. Look at it. These are nice. This is what you don't see. I have to rake these big rocks out. And throw them over the hill. This is concrete. I have to just keep doing this over and over. I'm gonna take a break after that one. That took me a while to get it and get a drink. And I'll come back in here. There's a nice layer in there. There should be marbles in it. Looks like another piece right there. Yeah, several. Ah. All right, I'll get back on my next one. All right, I'm back down to my bag. I think this is the third handful of shade. There's a nice clear base vitro in there. Lots of other vitro rain base marble kings at two color cat eye. I found alley agates today. One nice acro right when I got here. Look at this. Look at this pile of marbles. Man, there's a bunch. There's an alley. 
Man, there's a bunch of more in there. I'll get back later. Just crazy. I just put two vitreys in my pocket a minute ago. I didn't even feel them. There's another bumblebee. Let me see. Let me get this in my pocket. There's another marble up there buried. I saw it real straight in here someplace. Might have to rake back see this. Right there. New and another Patriot Vitra. There's just marbles everywhere in here, folks. You can see the layers about right there. This is just topsoil. There's only about a foot of topsoil, and then it's just like a three-foot layer of trash that's all the right age for marbles. You want to be seeing this kind of stuff, too. There's a little, like, um, sheep or whatever, the one with the horns. I don't know what you call them things. A little um, train. Um, you want to be seeing them little toys. There's marbles all around them usually. I was just kind of evening out my hole here and I got a beautiful marble. It come right out of these top layers too. I mean, I'm cutting this down. You can see there's trash in here, but I'm on a hill um, right here. Look at this. Man, that's a vitro. I thought it was a marble king here for a minute, but I don't have a vitro like that. Huh. That might even be a marble king. But it's nice. That's a pretty marble. Look at that. I'm not going to stay too much longer. I'm really getting tired. You can see this hole wasn't half as big. And it's pretty deep. And I'm moving them rocks out. So thanks for watching. I hope the tips help. If you're in, look at me. Too. You're going to get filthy. That's for sure. But these places are treasure troves. And you're going to find marbles if you get in these layers. It's just... You know, I dig on multiple different dumps in multiple towns, and there's marbles like this on all of them. So, you know, you're going to find them. Uh, I hope the tips help. But, uh, get out of here, but I'm still finding marbles consistently. I see two more back in here. They're going up the hill. Uh, uh, there's one. That's a marble king. And there's a vitro right here. I'll probably find one or two more and then I'm going to go. It's hard to leave when you're just finding two and three at a time. And real pretty ones. I got a whole other pocket full of them. Um, I'll show what I got in my pocket down there in my hand and I'll show a clean up later. I, I saw this marble flash. This is probably going to be in there. Right there's a blue bottle I didn't even see. Yeah, it's a blue one. I got one of them right there. Um, but this looks like some kind of Marble King hi Bumblebee hybrid or something. Oh, man. This looks good. It's some kind of hybrid. It's not a classic Bumblebee. It's some kind of blended weird one. Oh, man. This is nice. Look at that. Wow. That's a nice marble. Some kind of Bumblebee blend. Look at that. Wow, that's beautiful, folks. It's a good one to stop on. I'm going to even this up. If I see anything else, I'll show it. And then I'm going to go down there and get all the marbles out and get pictures. Man, I found a bunch of them today. And, like, I'd say I've been here three hours now. Well, just a couple minutes later, um, I see another bumblebee marble back in here. Right behind that blended one. Right there's another one. Man, this one's different. Look at that. Man, they're these are hybrid ones. This one's really unique. Saves that last one. Oh, man. Look at that one. It's clear base right there. Man, that's beautiful. That's another dandy. That looks like an ACL bottle right there, but it ain't coming out. Maybe we'll get that one on the next trip. Um, I'm gonna leave now. I'll go down there and show you the marbles. I'm gonna set them up here so I can get pictures. Alright, I'm getting all my stuff together. I'm leaving, but since my last handful I put in my pocket, I like to put them in my vest so they don't fall out of my pocket while I'm sitting down. Look at me. But I mean, this, if I'd stay two more hours, probably I'd have a record no matter what. 
feels like there's a pound of marbles in there and they're all, all nice i didn't see any damaged ones the damaged ones i threw over the hill um wow folks i'm on the mother load and they're going that way i got a big rock to get out but you can see just over the last couple days i've dug all of this i'll probably shovel all of this down into that hole and backfill it there were i dug last year well the beginning of this year and last year in the fall but there's way more marbles up here i'm gonna go that way and that way and straight up the hill and we'll dig here for a while this is just a marble like treasure trove um i wish i'd have found more acros today i got that one right there the acro so we'll try to go that way next trip and probe it out and see what's in there but i'll get back here and show all of them laid out here laid up all right you can see this stuff here um i really did good today and you know i didn't stay as long today either i got this Acro agate corkscrew. Um, probably my favorites. I love these salmon colored, uh, two color cat eyes. Look at that. That's a beauty. Some of these, uh, Marble King bumblebees are ridiculous. Look at that. That's a beauty. Um, but look at all these. There's another two color cat eye. There's a vetro. Um, I got several nice alley agates. That's a beauty there. Look at that. Um, you want to be seeing these little toys. I guess that's a ram. It's real rubber, like car tire rubber. There's a little train thing. A street car, I would guess. Um, but lots of vetros and marble kings. Some alley and one acro. So it was a success. I like this Marble King. That's that's a unique one. Um, this is kind of a unique Marble King there too. Um, all of these ones are vetros. I found lots of them today. There's another one. But thanks for watching. I hope the tips. Well, the tips are going to help you. Um, you can see what I'm doing. I'm just following this layer. I've got to cut this down. I just can't do no more digging today. It's just too much. I've dug every day for weeks, well, months. But uh, I'll come back up here in a day or so, maybe tomorrow, who knows. I'm going to keep finding marbles, so if you like this kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe. Um, lots of bumblebees. Look at all of them. I like that one. That's a pretty marble. Some of them other ones are unique, too. Here's that yellow and red kind of peach cat eye that's nice well anyway later folks i hope you enjoy all right i went ahead and la labeled this frame august 2020 because i'm going to fill it easily probably another one there's one acro in here two beautiful two color cat eyes right there right there and there bunch of bumblebees some of them are hybrids a couple alleys lots of vitres and marble kings there's another alley right there that's going to be a nice frame. Big variety of stuff. Beautiful marbles. Real nice condition. These are the ones that are all just really nice condition. But there you go. I'll fill it here. We'll get back and I'll try to add some more to it later.